hired officers. No one expects jail to be easy. It's really tough. This one's my bed. But if you're a parent, it's impossible to expect just how hard it will be. I feel like you're dying. Because I've never been away from them in, in 11 years for my son and eight for my daughter. Except for the pictures on her wall. <laughs> Gina hasn't seen her kids in four months. They're under 14, so they're not allowed to visit. Well, it was very sad because we don't get to see her much since she's in jail now. Yeah, and I really miss my mom. It's really been trying. Grandma tries to help the kids make sense of things. They know she's got to pay for what she did. I held the door for an armed robbery. And I was intoxicated while I did it. Can't hardly even remember doing it, but I did it. And when you're a kid, it's got to be tough when your role model suddenly ends up needing your guidance. I told my mom that when she gets out of jail, never ever steal or rob a convenience store again. And she made that promise. They're more encouraging for me right now, and that's hard. A topsy-turvy role reversal as churning as the jail's giant washing machine. But despite all that chaos, there is actually something to help restore a little normalcy. Hi guys, it's mommy again. Story time. I'm going to read you another book. It's called Growing Up. It's a book on tape program. Lori sat at the table and she bowed her head. With stories packed with lessons. Yes, she did it all by herself. And occasionally comedy, like the fact that the kid in this book happens to be wearing the same thing as Gina. Orange and white and orange shoes. <laughs> An experience as therapeutic for mom. You guys ready? As it is for the kids. Thank you, Lori, said Daddy, as he put her grocery bags on the kitchen counter. What a good helper you are. You're growing up. It makes me happy, because I miss her a lot. I think it helps let them know that I'm okay. Her story hasn't been an easy one. After lunch, Lori's mother said, nap time. <laughs> but with two great chapters waiting for her at home. Yes, said mother. Who's to say her autobiography can't wind up. That's the end of the book, guys. Mommy loves you and misses you so, so much. With a happy ending. Love you. Bert Mumolo, Tulsa's Channel 8. Bye.